Okay, so Gucci Man and Lil Dirk decided to drop a song called Rumors. But I think this song, and over like shortly how I'm going to talk about this song, I think this song clears up a lot of rumors that people have had about Gucci Mane and Lil Dirk for their fan base growing over time. I think this does answer a lot of their questions. It might not answer everybody's questions, but it answers a lot. But it also, he al- Gucci Mane also explains the situation that is happening. It happened in one state, but they're trying to do it around the world. This one issue isn't political. It's just we've had a lot of situations where this law would kind of help some people but not help another. Um, Gucci Man throws some shade at a few rappers that he had beef with. And a little dirt throws a little bit of shade too. So we will talk about this afterward from our quick sponsor. We'll get into all of this, which I think this episode would be a little bit fun. Because of the situations I'm kind of going to be talking about. But this will also probably might be on a little bit of a longer side. Because of the situations I will be covering. Um, which could possibly change rep if some of these went through and some of these didn't. So we'll see. We'll talk about that after we're from our sponsor. Okay, so as I said. Gucci Man and Lil Dark dropped a song called Rumors. Which... I'm going to start with Gucci's parts first because I think Gucci's part will take me a little bit longer to kind of explain. So I will explain that for a little bit. Okay. So there are a lot of rappers and 2 Chainz talked about it recently in an interview where he was just like, he's gotten into more situations being a rapper than what he does when he was younger. That This will all make sense later. Um... But, 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 you know, Gucci Man says, um, he, hip hop fans question what happened to the case with Gucci. As a lot of people do, when cases get dropped, they wonder if they turn federal. Gucci Man didn't, for, for all I know. But there are rumors, well, there aren't rumors. But what I'm saying is, people, will all, it's always been a wonder how Gucci Man never got charged and why he never went to trial. So, he says in his song they didn't have enough evidence and stuff like that. Which brings me to this next point that he brings up briefly. He brings up this next point briefly. He says, they're listening to your music just to charge you. And this is what I... So, there was a law. I believe it is Connecticut or it's one of those states. Where it was passed where they could use rap lyrics against you. Which I think is a little bit harsh. Because of hip hop, it puts hip hop in this weird struggle structure where if I rap about something, I could be charged for because they're using my rap lyrics in a in the court of law of me being honest. Which, to be fair, a lot of artists do not. A lot some artists do not actually do what they claim to say that they do in their raps. So to the public image, there's a lot of people that are called public image consultants, which, anyway, there used to be a rumor that if you couldn't, if you weren't, um, if you weren't from the streets or if you weren't gangster, you couldn't make it in rap. That's been proven wrong a few times, but that's not the point. The point is, whatever you say in your rap lyrics can be used against you in certain, in, a, in one state, but they were trying to pass it for all states, which... It does put a hold on a lot of rappers. Um, for example, R.I.P. to Big and Pac, the Pac situation. Um, when Notorious B.I.G. put up, put out Who Shot You. Now, while it is, well, while rap is a, about a bunch of subliminals, uh, some of those subliminals can be taken for actual fact, which would... Which might put Pac in jail, or other situations like that. Um, but that's that's a whole another episode where I'm talking deeper into that. But he he does mention that for a brief second. Um, the Saudi Arabia's law is passing that. But then he also he disses rapper he disses a few rappers by saying they never pulled that gun, they've never shot anybody, which 
as I said, is a hot topic that a lot of, a lot of artists, if they haven't done it, that would be a hotline for somebody putting them, and then they connect it to a crime or something. Which is why I think Little Dirk's part, while it's not terrible, it's not bad either. I do like this Little Dirk song, song with Gucci, a little bit more than I like some of his other projects. But he says, and then one of his lines, he says, why are you asking me who shot him? I don't know, which, hmm, we we get into legal situations about, can he say that and does that stand up in a court of law? He's saying on his rep, he doesn't know. Which I think does clear him, I'm not entirely sure. He says, a lot of people gossip about you, which... Some of these, this whole, this whole verse, this whole verse from Little Dirk, people believe is a, is a diss at NBA Youngboy, but I think this could be a diss at a few people. He says, you gossip about my name, but don't, you gossip about me, but don't drop my name, which, <laughs> there have been some articles about that, so, but it was, like, they were a while ago, I believe, about situations that he was having. He says, I can't look on your page and see the people that died, which I'm hesitant on that. I don't know, because a lot of people, when they go on platforms, especially celebrities, some celebrities do make their accounts private. A lot don't, though, so I'm not sure what he's saying, or he's too busy being a, being the face of the younger hip-hop era, if that's what they're saying. That I don't have enough time to look at the stuff you say about me and don't drop my name in it. He says, but I, but I, if I do something, I'm going to do it and not drop your name. He says, if I drop your name, don't post it, which I think is another thing to NBA young Youngboy. I'm not entirely sure, but I think that's what it could be aimed at. Or it could be aimed at a few people that he has a few problems with, which um, I've talked about how I feel about people killing or rappers killing other rappers, or just killing about other rappers taking situations that they don't need to take. I think that at a certain amount of money, you're just like, yeah, I can do it better. I can do it differently. That's why he says he ends it. He ends his verse by saying, "Better not believe. Better not believe the rumors," because I think he in his in his mindset and and probably some responsibility falls on the fans, but also the media. Where a lot of rumors get started and no one's like, hey, uh, is that actually true? And everybody just goes with it. They're like, ah, so is a celebrity. They did this. So we're just going to believe it happened. Um, which which is fine. I think there, there's not a lot of people that look through the sources and see if it's a legit source or a person giving them good information. But that's also the part of the media is to get headline attention and stuff like that. So I can understand this. It's, you know, this... This is crazy to me. And then he just talks about them. And then Gucci Man just talks about them not having no evidence to prove it. Which I'm not touching a case of any rapper. I'm not. I'm not. I'm just not doing it. And I think this little this little dark verse is a response to the situation I had with King Von. R.I.P. King Von. But th- I think that's what this situation is leading to. I think that's what that little dark response was to. However, I'm not entirely sure, so don't take my word for it. I couldn't find a lot of sources on that. So, that's the situation with Little Dirk and Gucci Man. And the song escapes me right now. But, out of, out of all, I, I do think this song is a a 5.6 a five point, a 5. out of 10. Because it's not a bad song, but I don't want to promote the... I don't hate the material, but I don't want to promote rappers taking out other rappers because we've seen how these situations plan out. We've seen three times how these situations don't always end up in a good favor and don't always end up in a good light. But I know there's a lot of people that are like, hey, I look up to the celebrity, what they say goes. Um, which, which is very difficult for me because somebody once said, um, to idolize a celebrity is stupid, which 
isn't true. I think everyone idols or looks up to somebody, but they're still human. So, if they're your favorite celebrity, don't 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 be like, hey, whatever they do is all good. Not saying that is not possible, but that's not always the case. There's always two sides to a story. Um, overall, five out of six out of ten, not bad. But the concept in these songs, I don't want to really promote. Um, I don't really want to, because I hate rapper on rapper violence. I hate that. Um. It's not a bad song. I just... The conversation about rappers dying is a... Is a... Is a... Is a subject to me which I have a problem trying to explain into a better purpose for me. Right? Like, I... I hate it, but I know egos get involved, but... I know this is kind of me rambling, but 5 out of... 5.6 out of 10, Gucci Man and Little Dirt. And their song called Remor- um, Rumors, just that's how good I think it is. But some message can be off. But Gucci Mane is also um, informing people on the lyric. On the lyrics you say can be using you in corner law, which isn't true for all states. Look it up. But in some states it is. So be aware of what you say in your music. And just be aware of what you say, I guess, would be the best way to say it. See you in the next. See y'all in the next episode.